This is a painting of Nicole Orem. I looked up the phonetic spelling before making this video. I'm assuming I'm still mispronouncing it. But, and I, I apologize to all the French speakers out there ahead of time. But he was a famous French philosopher mathematician who lived in medieval France. He lived in the 1300s. And he's famous for his proof that the harmonic series actually diverges. And just as a little bit of review, this is the harmonic series. One plus one half plus one third plus one fourth plus one fifth. And it's always been, you know, in my brain, the first time that I saw the harmonic series, it wasn't obvious to me whether it converged or diverged. It looks like, well, gee, you know, all these terms are positive, but they're going towards zero. So yeah, I could imagine that, that this thing could converge. But he proved otherwise. He proved one of the most famous and most elegant proofs in mathematics that it does indeed diverge. And the way that he did this is he replaced every term in the harmonic series with a term that is less than or equal to that term. And then if he proves, and if he, if, if he, if he, if he, and then by proving that his new series diverges and it's less than or equal to this series, or each of the terms are less than or equal to each of the corresponding terms of here, then he says, therefore, by the comparison test, this must diverge. So how did he construct that? Well, one way to think about it is he replaced each of the terms in the harmonic series with the largest power of one half that is less than or equal to that term. So what's the largest power of one half that is less than or equal to one? Well, one is a power of one half. So that is you know, one half to the zero power is one. So one is the largest power of one half that is less than or equal to one. So I'll just write the one there. And now what's the largest power of one half that is less than or equal to one half? Well, that's just going to be one half. That's just one half to the first power. Now what's the largest power of what's the largest power of one half that is less than or equal to one third? Well, one half is larger than one third. It's not less than one third. We want it to be less than one third. So the next power of one half is, or I should say the power of one half, the largest power of one half that is less than or equal to one third is one fourth. So replace one third with one fourth. And of course, replace one fourth with one fourth, and then we get to one, and then we get to one fifth. What's the largest power of one half that is less than or equal to one fifth? And once again, one fourth is greater than one fifth. The largest power of one half that is less than or equal to one fifth is one eighth. So he replaced that with one eighth. He of course would replace for the same reason that with one eighth. He would replace that one with one eighth, and of course one eighth, the largest, the largest power of one, of one half that is less than or equal to one eighth is one eighth. And then what would he replace one ninth with? Well he would replace one ninth with one sixteenth by the exact same argument. And you, you'd keep going all the way until you get to one sixteenth. So you'd essentially have eight one sixteenths in a row. Well what's interesting here? Well for, let's first verify that we can, uh, we can use the comparison test here. So in this first series, each of the terms are non-negative. In the second series, each of the terms are non-negative. And we also see that each of the corresponding terms in a harmonic series is larger than each of the, or greater than or equal to the corresponding terms in this series. We constructed it this way. These are equal, this one is equal, this is greater than this. One third is greater than one fourth. One fourth is equal to one fourth. One fifth is greater than one eighth. One sixth is greater than one eighth. One seventh is greater than one eighth. One eighth is equal to one eighth. And so one way to think about it is this is the, each of the corresponding terms in this new constructed series are smaller. And I'm going to just call it S in this infinite sum. And of course we keep going on and on and on. Maybe I should do that in magenta. So we see that each of the corresponding terms here are smaller than the corresponding terms up here. And they're all positive. So if we can prove if we can prove that S, that this sum right over here diverges, then by the comparison test, the larger series, the harmonic series here, the one where the corresponding terms are larger, that must also diverge. And how do we do that? Well, let's just actually just take these sums. This is going to be, so let me write it. So S is going to be equal to one plus one half. One fourth plus one fourth, what's that? Well, it's two fourths or one half. 
I think you see what's going on here. This is exciting. What's 1 8 plus 1 8 plus 1 8 plus 1 8? Well, that's 4 8 or 1 half. What's 1 16th plus 1 16th? And we're going to go all the way until we get to 1, uh, all the, we're going to have 8 of these. Well, that's going to be 8 16 ths or 1 half. 1 half. And then you're going to have 16 1 30 seconds or 1 half. And so we're essentially just going to be adding 1 half. And we're, we start with one, we just keep adding one plus one half plus one half plus one half plus one half. Well, this is clearly going to be equal to, or this is going to, this is unbounded. This is, you could say that this is equal to infinity. This is equal to infinity. Or another way to think about it is S clearly diverges. S clearly diverges. And since S is, I guess we could say, each of its corresponding terms, or each of its terms are smaller than the corresponding terms in the harmonic series, we can then say that the harmonic series diverges. Harmonic series diverges. Diverges. There's no way that this thing over here can converge. If this thing is, each of its corresponding terms are smaller, and you could even think of this kind of the sum as being smaller, but this sum goes to infinity, so this one must also go to infinity. Anyway, hopefully you found that as, as interesting as, as I did.